Hi guys, good morning and welcome to Covenant City Church Morning Devotional. My name is Angel. I am one of the church interns. Um, I work in the women's ministry and today I have the privilege to share the Word of God with you in our devotional. Today's passage will be taken from the book of Psalm chapter 46 uh, verse 1 through 11 which is about God as our mighty fortress. Uh, there are two things that I would like to share with you. First, what kind of refuge that we can find in God? And second, what is required of us to know that He is our mighty fortress? So let us open our Bible and, and let me read the scripture for us. Psalm chapter 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, Though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations rage, the kingdoms totter, he utters his voice, the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come, behold the works of the Lord, how he has brought desolations on the earth. He makes war cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Thus says the Lord. The psalmist here exhorts believers to have confidence in God as our refuge and mighty fortress. But what kind of refuge that we can find in Him? How does His refuge look like? In this passage, uh, first one clearly tells us that God is a very present help in trouble. His help is not on the way or far away, but God is present with us. He is present with us in the midst of the things that we are going through. Well, in this, uh, the psalmist shows the reality of, of, of this world that can be very chaotic in verse 2 and 3, that mountains be moved, uh, waters roar. These are an imagery of chaos that the upside down of the whole world where, where things might fall away, the things that we thought will be there forever might actually change now. And these things might be overwhelming and threatening like the waters that roar. Is it what you're going through? But it is also said here that we will not be moved despite all these circumstances. How so? Because He is present with us. The great security lies in the fact that God, who is immovable, dwells in the midst of us. He is our fortress. Well, other than the fact that um, He is present with us, uh, we can see here that He is utterly powerful. Let me read verse 6 for us. The nations rage, the kingdoms totter. He utters His voice, the earth melts. What a profound source of consolation. That although the whole world rise up against us, everything that we see may be shaking and wobbling right now. All of those things can be brought to nothing in the moment by His immeasurable power. He utters His voice, the earth melts. It just melts. He is in complete and sovereign control over all things. In this passage, uh, there's also a significant affirmation that 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 worth mentioning. In verse 7, it says, The Lord of hosts is with us. Maybe we are not familiar with the term uh, host. Um, host is actually a, a military term that means armies. So the Lord of hosts here means the Lord of armies. And here is the comfort that God, who can melt the earth with his voice, God, who is the Lord of armies, is with us, is our fortress. So we learn here how great and powerful He is as our refuge 
and that he is present dwell among us a very present help for us but friends how many times do we learn about this and 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 in the next day, if not the next hour, forget about this profound truth. Which leads us to the second point. What is required of us to know that He is our mighty fortress? There is actually a command in, in verse 10. Here, God breaking into the scene in the first person. Be still and know that I am God. A book that I'm studying um, explains that here, God is not making a suggestion or um, an encouragement. This is actually a command. Um, it has the force of a military um, order. Cease, decease, attention. It is not merely, Shh, could you be quiet? No, this is actually a command to be still and know that he is God. Stop running around looking for other gods to be our refuge. Um, pause, be still, and know that He is God. Pause, be still, and know that the Lord of hosts, that the Lord of armies, is with us. Friends, if you are like me, to be still is not easy. We easily get carried away by the busyness uh, or get smitten by the attractiveness of fragile and, and um, temporary, temporary refuge in this world. But this command is for our benefits. We need to be still because we often don't see that the one who we really need is with us. We keep trying to search um, for a refuge or get busy in, in building our own refuge. But friends, those cannot help us. Those are not the permanent and powerful refuge that we truly need. So today, I would like to invite all of us and challenge us to reflect on the things that hinder us to be still and know that He is God. What are those? And what can we do to be still? Perhaps we need to get rid of some of the activities for a while or to change anything in our daily schedule in order to help us to be still and know that He is God. Um, what I would like to point here is not to ignore the panic, not to ignore the anxiety that we really feel in, in this very uh, situation that is uncertain of this pandemic situation or any hardship that you're going through, but instead to quiet our panic as we know that He is our God. I hope this beautiful psalm can be an encouragement to you as it is to me. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, what a comfort that we can we can find um, from your word that, that you are our mighty fortress, that you are a very present help in our troubles. Um, Lord, um, may you calm our hearts and minds and help us to be still and know that you are God. And, and thank you, Lord, that, that uh, you have saved us from the greatest misery that you truly become our refuge um, and, and, and you save us from, from the wrath uh, of yours upon our sins. And, and in our daily lives today, help us to, to see that, that you are powerful and, and, and you are with us. Um, Lord, we beg you also that you, uh, may you have mercy uh, upon us who are afflicted and, and who are distressed uh, in our mind, body, or estate with the current situation. May you comfort us according to our needs and, and may you refresh our soul uh, by your word. Um, in Jesus' name, our rock and our redeemer, we pray. Amen.